Welcome back to another video. Today we'll discuss Railway Pharmacist Exam 2019 held on 19th July 2019. So let's start with the questions. BCG vaccine is a bovine strain of Mycobacterium tuberculosis, Salmonella typhi, Hepatitis virus, para influenza virus. The answer for this is Mycobacterium tuberculosis. BCG is prepared from a strain of the attenuated live bovine tuberculosis bacillus, Mycobacterium bovis, that has lost its ability to cause disease in humans. Next one, what compound is present in ashwagandha, steroidal lacton, terpenoid glycoside, terpenoid alkaloids, steroidal glycosides. So the biological constituents of Vitania somnifera or ashwagandha is alkaloids, steroidal lactones. So steroidal lactones is the answer. Synonym for Indian squill is licorice root, arrow poison, yam, Sea onion. So the answer for this is option D. Sea onion. Indian squill is also known as sea onion or jungle piaz. Fourth question: The CMC section of investigational new drug application should be bound in a orange press board binder. Green press board binder, red polythene binder, black press board binder. So the answer for this is option B, green press board binder. Moving on, which one of the following is not a radiation obtained from radioactive compounds? Beta, gamma, epsilon, alpha. So radiation is the emission or transmission of energy in the form of waves or particles. The answer in this is C. Epsilon is not a radiation. The rest alpha, beta, gamma are radiations emitted from radioactive materials. Moving on to the next question. Angioedema is the adverse drug reaction affecting the skin, pancreas, liver, gastrointestinal tract. Angioedema is the rapid edema or swelling of the area beneath the skin or mucosa. It is normally an allergic reaction but it can also be hereditary. Liquid membrane systems are also called as nanocapsules, virosomes, aquasomes, multi-emulsion. The answer is D. Multi emulsion. They are complicated vehicle systems in which oil in water and water in oil emulsions exist in a single system. Convective mixing is also called as diffusive mixing, shear mixing, micro mixing, macro mixing. So, convective mixing is also called as macro mixing consists of vertical or horizontal static shell or container in which powders are circulated around by a rotating blade, paddle or screw. Then the ninth question is, the reaction between an acid and a base to give salt and water is known as combustion, nucleophilic, neutralization, double decomposition. The answer for this is 
neutralization reaction. The reaction between an acid and base is neutralization. And the product of this reaction are salt and water. Moving on to the next question. Alcohol reacts with carboxylic acid in the presence of inorganic acid to form the options are amide, ester, aldehyde, ether. Esters are produced when carboxylic acid are heated with alcohols in the presence of an acid catalyst. The catalyst is usually concentrated sulfuric acid Now, the next question is the 11th question. Chapter 3 of Drugs and Cosmetics Act 1940 and Rules 1945 gives information about import of drugs and cosmetics, provisions relating to Ayurvedic, Siddha and Yunani drugs, Drugs Technical Advisory Board, Manufacture, Sale and Distribution of Drugs and Cosmetics. The answer is option A. The main object of the act is to prevent substantive drugs and import of drug and cosmetics. Next question is, lecithin is an example for amine type of antioxidant, quinoline type of antioxidant, Phenolic type of antioxidant, organic acids, alcohols, and esters. The answer is amine type of antioxidant. Lecithin is an example of phospholipid. It is the most common phospholipid. It contains amino alcohol, choline, etc. It's found in egg yolks, wheat germ soybeans and is extracted from soybeans for use as an emulsifying agent in foods. Now let's see the 13th question. Erection of a rat tail is observed by after administration of opioid analgesic drug COX-1 inhibitors non-opioid analgesic drug COX-2 inhibitors? The answer is A. Opioid analgesic drug. Tail erection was induced by focal electrical stimulation of mesencephalic central gray through chronically implanted electrodes in mice. Now the 14th question. Electroreducible substances can be determined by calorimetry, conductometry, potentiometry, amperometry. Amperometry is the answer. It refers to the measurement of current under a constant applied voltage. And under these conditions, it is the concentration of analyte which determines the magnitude of current. Next question, any undesirable change in the physical, chemical or biological features of air, land and water is called ecosystem, pollution, ecology, pollutants. So pollution is an undesirable change in physical, chemical or biological characteristics of air, land, water or soil. Agents that bring about such an undesirable change are known as pollutants. The next question. The internationally accepted method of measuring obesity is body mass index, Sullivan's index, Ponderell index, H index. 
body mass index is a person's weight in kilograms divided by the square of height in meters. BMI can be used to screen for weight categories that may lead to health problems, but it is not diagnostic of the body fatness or health of an individual. Moving on to the 17th question. Absorption of radiation can be measured by Options are spectrophotometry, polarimetry, flame photometry or voltammetry. So absorption can be measured by spectrophotometry. A spectrophotometer is an analytical instrument used to quantitatively measure the transmission or reflection of visible light, UV light or infrared light. Aspirin should be used with caution in asthma, fever, headache, tachycardia. The answer for this is A. Asthma. When medications such as NSAIDs or aspirin block the COX-1 enzyme, production of thromboxane and some anti-inflammatory prostaglandins is decreased and in patients with aspirin-induced asthma, this results in the overproduction of pro-inflammatory leukotrienes, which can cause severe exacerbations of asthma. As per the changes made in the Hatch-Waxman Act, how many months' stay will be permitted in the case of those patents listed in the Orange Book? 40 months, 20 months, 10 months or 10, 30 months? Um, the answer is 30 months stay will be permitted in the case of those patents listed in the orange book. Capsid is present in bacteria, fungi, protozoa, virus. A capsid is the protein shell of a virus. And it encloses the genetic material of the virus. Next parts will be made in the upcoming session.